In addition to the wide range of statistical functionality available within R, it is possible to use the language to perform matrix calculations. And we'll now look at some of the basic calculations that you might want to perform on matrices. So the first thing that we need to be able to do is to create matrices. And the function matrix in R can be used to perform this task. So if we create a matrix called A, make use of the function matrix, first thing we specify is the numbers that make up the elements of the matrix. So if we randomly put six numbers in here, and then let's decide that we want this to be a matrix with two columns. So we have n col equals two. Run this command, and then if we print it out, we'll see that we've got our matrix and the numbers go in by default in to the column, so 2, 50, 4, 1 in that order. So what we could then have done instead is if we want to put them in by row, so I rerun that command and now we see we go across the rows before we go down the columns. So we'll just adjust our matrix here to make a simple 2 by 2 matrix. So we'll rerun those commands, now we see we've got our 2x2 two two matrix. So what we then might want to do is to look at matrix addition. So if we create another matrix, we'll call it B, and make it the same dimensions as we're going to add these two together, and again we'll say we'll have two columns, or we won't bother with the doing it by row. So print out here we've got our matrix A and B. Now R recognises that if we want to add two matrices together, we just put the name of the two objects with a plus in between them. Similarly, we can do the minus to be able to get the difference between those two matrices. So let's say we want to multiply A by B. Now here, rather than using star, we need to use the matrix multiplication command, which is percent star percent. So we run that, we'll see that these two matrices have been multiplied together. So what else might we want to do? Well let's say we want to invert a matrix. We make use of the function solve, so we can invert matrix A by writing solve A. Another operation that we might be interested in is eigen, to extract the eigen the values and eigenvectors for the matrix. So eigen A gives us two elements, values and vectors. So if we create a, another couple of matrices to look at multiplying non-square matrices together. So let's say we've got a matrix C and we want one row and three columns. So we have n col equals three, run those two lines. And now let's say we want to do a multiplication of C against the transpose of C. So we do C, matrix multiplier, and then the function T generates the transpose of a matrix. So we get our 21 here as we're doing 1 by 3 multiplied by 3 by 1 which will give us a 1 by 1 matrix. So if we do it the other way around instead and run that we now get a 3 by 3 matrix where we're just multiplying together pairs of elements of C and uh, transpose of C. Now one final operation that we might be interested in doing if we've got a square matrix and we want to extract the diagonal elements, use the function diag and that picks out here the diagonal elements of our matrix A.